study section 2 education administration and its importance Introduction In the previous study session, you were introduced to the concept of organization and administration. In this study session, you will learn about educational administration, processes of educational administration, and the importance of educational administration in educational development. Learning outcomes for study section 2 At the end of this session, you should be able to define educational administration, Enumerate the processes of educational administration. Discuss the importance of educational administration. Concept of educational administration. In the previous session, we emphasized that administration is the process of getting the people in an organization to achieve the aims of the organization through the efficient and effective use of available human resources. We can as well say it is a dynamic process of arranging the scarce human and material resources available to an organization for the effective and efficient attainment of its aims. It is also the process of realizing organizational plans and policies with limited resources through cooperative efforts. Having understood the administration as a quick concept, what, what, what is educational administration? According to Coombs, 1970, educational administration is the application of rational and systematic analysis to the processes of educational development with the aim of making education more effective and efficient in responding to the needs and goals of the student and the society. This definition denotes that Education can only be an, an asset to individuals and society at large through, through administration. Unwako 1982 defined edu educational administration as the, as the process concerned with, with use, using methods, principles, and practices to establish, de de develop, develop, and execute the goals, policies, plans, and procedures necessary to achieve the objectives of education. In a, in a related de definition, Ogusan Soya 1991 said edu educational administration in the processes by, by which principles, methods, and practices are used in educational inst institutions as organizations to establish, maintain, and, and develop such institutions in, in line with the goals and objectives of the institution. From the later definition, you, you can see, see that educational institutions are also referred to as organizations because they comprise of individuals who are conscious of their, their membership towards fulfillment of desired goals. Administration is an essential element that gears every activity towards realization of set objectives in educational institution. Thus, educational administration is a process of skillfully arranging the human and material resources and programs available for education and, and carefully and systematically using, using them for the achievement of educational ob objectives. This is, this is why Atonda and Lamid 2006 submitted that educational administration 
is essentially really responsible for the organization and implementation of plans, policies, and programs for the realization of educational objectives. Education administration is the carrying out of policies or decisions to fulfill a purpose and the controlling of the day-to-day -day running of an educational institution. Based on this, this premise, Nwako 1982 emphasized the fact that an edu educational administrator at any, any level is, a, is an organizer and, 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 and implement of, of, of plans, policies, and programs meant for, for, for specific, specific edu edu educational objectives. The, the education national administrator carries out some, some administrative processes that f f facilitate its is or, or accomplishment in terms of education objectives. The next session will intimate you with administrative processes of, of factions. Processes of educational administration. There are administrative processes which are important in educational administration. Linda Owig and Luda H. Gulick, 1952, organized fire statements into simpler and more comprehensive form. They gave each process of administration in a letter which begins the name of the process. This process is a planning, organizing, staffing, directing, coordinating, reporting, and budgeting. The, the, the acronym for, the, for, the, for these processes is, is P-P-O-S-S-T-C-O-O-R-B. Each, each letter represents each, each, each process of, of, of administration. We shall, shall, shall dis discuss all this one, one after, the, after the other. One. Planning. This, this, is, this is fundamental for every educational administrator. It is a, it is a pro process of preparing a set of, of decisions for, for, for future action. It is, it is, it is a kind of, 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 of organized foresight for as, as was well, well, well as attempting to control events. In, in edu educational institutions, it involves deciding what the, what the educational objectives should, should be, be and what, what its members should do to, to attain them. Thus, through, through planning, planning, educational administrator seeks to establish guidelines for, for channeling any effort and decision making, making that we create great unity of, of purpose within the organization's membership. Flexibility has, has to be built into planning many because the future is, is uncertain. Hence, plan, plans must be revised to, to, to make them consistent with reality. 2. Organ, organ, organizing. This involves the establishment of a form, formal structural line of authority which defines different duties and responsibilities of each staff. It is the determination of what needs to be done in order to reach the organizational or institutional goals, assigning these activities to the proper personnel and delegating the necessary authority to carry out these activities in a coordinated manner. Therefore, organizing is the process of arranging positions and tasks systematically to achieve educational objectives. 3. Staffing. 
This refers to personnel, personnel function in administration. It involves recruitment, placement, welfare, compensation, and staff development. In, in education, already designed jobs under organizing have to be entrusted to some people, both teaching and non-teaching staff. This calls first for recruitment of, of qualified staff. It does not stop at recruitment. What, what, what transpires after, after such, such as compensation, develop, development, promotion, dis discipline, retirement, and so on are con concerns to the edu educational administrator. Four, directing. This is concerned with leadership, communication, motivation, and supervision so that the staffs perform their assigned tasks in the most efficient manner so as to achieve the desired goals. Educational administrators must must be must be conversant with, 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 with different leader, leader, leadership styles as, as as well as understand the application as situ situations demand. Communication is only referred to as a con connecting, connecting fluid, fluid in every every organization. Educational administrators have, have, have to communicate it effectively so, so as to get set, the set, set goals accomplished. Communication should not, not only be, be downward, upward communication should be encouraged. This helps the administrators to get feedback from the subordinates. Motivation is the process of energizing an inward drive of subordinate to art. Administrators in educational institutions are expected to be to be familiar with their subordinates as this will help a lot a lot in motivating them accordingly. In addition, activities of of subordinates have to have to be overseen by the administrator to, to ensure, ensure compliance with standard. 5. Coordinating. This involves the ability and capability of educational administrators to, to, to put the human, human and material resources together in, in the best way proportional to achieve, achieving the organizational objectives. This is the, the wire that, that binds all member, members in the, in, the, in the organization. Coordination calls us for the need, need to put every section and individual into consideration. It prevents confusion and, and delay. 6. Six. Rep reporting. Administrator is expected to, to be knowledgeable. Of, of all work, work in, in its organization through, through super supervision and observation. He or she, or she, or she should disseminate information about the progress of a problem of his, of his organization to, to member, members of the, of the organization and, and, and other stakeholders. Yes. Seven. Seven. Budgeting. Educational administrators should have adequate knowledge on fiscal management. For example, financial planning, accounting, and controls are his responsibilities as an accounting officer. He or she should be able to carve out the yearly budget on repairs of school materials facilities, finance, and equipment. Though there may, there may be designated staff known, known, as, known as school accountant or, or boss, boss the, the school administrator as chief, chief executive officer 
will be be responsible for for any financial misconduct. Therefore, is our knowledge of accounting will help in super supervisory role. Important standards of educational administration. Educational administration plays important role in educational development as well as, as national development of, of any country. Some of these are, are highlighted as, as, as follow, follows. A. Educational administration facilitates the achieve, achievement of, edu of edu educational goal, goals and, and obje objectives. E every country has, has a set, set of edu educational objectives. For, the, for these, these objectives to materialize, resources, resources are, are required. These, these are human, material, and, and, and finance. Availability of, 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 of these resources is, is not sufficient without proper, proper coordination and steering of activities in the direction of set objectives. Educational administration helps, helps in steering activities for the achievement of laudable educational objectives. B. Effective allocation of educational resources. From the, from the definition of educational administration, systematic allocation of resources is, is emphasized. It is, it is this true, true administration of education that resources made available, available to, to educate education are, are proper, properly allocated. Human, human resources are assigned responsibilities in line, line with their, their specialization to avoid wastage. This, this, is the, this is the emphasis of the division of labor or on, on the, the bureaucratic principle of administration. C. C. Efficient utilization of human and material resources. C. C. The effective allocation of educational resources facilitates adequate utilization of these resources. When, when a right man is fixed in, 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 the, in the right job, he enjoys the use of his office expertise with, with ease. Not, not only that, that material resources that are, that are judiciously allocated also result into efficient use of, of such, such resources for, for the achievement of, of desired educational objectives. D. D. Promotion of unity of, of purpose and, and, and direction. The, 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 the unity of purpose is possible, possible through coordination of efforts by, by the educational administrator who occupies leadership position. E. Good human relations. Educational administration fosters good human relations between the educational administrators and their subordinates. F. F. Prevention of administrative problems in educational system. Educational administration helps to reveal the problems that, 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 could, that could militate against effective implementation of educational plans. Even if, if there are problems, it facilitates quick intervention through administrative mechanism. G. Provision of vital information for policy making. Through the feedback provided by educational administrators, from the feed, educational planners or policy makers are properly guided. The feedback serves as input in the subsequent educational planning. This is the reason why government and educational planners should ensure participatory educational planning. This gives different stakeholders like educational administrators of opportunity to contribute their input. H. Basis for, for evaluation. Educational administration provides a basis for the evaluation of educational plans. 
To some extent, the success of any educational plan is determined at implementation. Since educational administration is concerned with the implementation of educational plan, the result of feedback from implementation is used to adjudge the sources of failure of educational plan. Summary for study section 2 In this study session, you have learned that 1. Educational administration is a process concerned with using methods, principles and practices to establish, develop and execute the goals, policies, plan and procedures necessary to achieve the objectives of education. 2. The processes of educational administration are planning, organizing, staffing, directing, coordination, reporting, and budgeting. 3. The importance of educational administration includes effective allocation of educational resources, efficient utilization of human and material resources, promotion of unity of purpose, prevention of administrative problems in educational system, and provision of vital information for policy making. This is the end of study section 2. Thanks for listening.